Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, all appropriate ages, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, which may be. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. So, another week has begun. Therefore, oh, I've just woken up. Therefore, another week's worth of Nora's Mix Volume 1 challenges. And I'm getting my lazy ass around to finishing off Steel Path, but we'll get into that in a second, because I discovered something. Anywho. Nora is all about incentivizing. These I did yesterday, so let's see what. Right. Kill 100 Xmas units, and I've done seven so far. Okay. Open one of each era slash tier of Relic, Lith, Meso, Neo, Axie. I can do that easily. Complete an isolation fault bounty mission in the Cambrian Drift on Deimos. Simple enough. Complete 10 syndicate missions. Hmm. Complete 3 sabotage missions. Complete 3 exterminate missions. Complete 3 assassination missions. And kill 150 enemies with magnetic damage. Yeah, come on, no one mods for magnetic anymore. You're crazy. But for the isolation vault bounty, take a Nyx or an Octavia if you're going solo. Seems to do the trick all the time. That speaks for itself. 100 Xmas units. Steel Path or Elite Sanctuary Onslaught. Syndicate missions. Well, depends how many syndicates you're pals with. I'm actually uh, pals with four of them, so I've got plenty. Complete any sabotage mission will do. Any exterminate mission will do. The poor sergeant's about to get absolutely railed this week. As for the cred offerings, why are these two helmets up here and not with all the others? What the? What is it? Oh, it's by name, that's why. Not by default. Oh, you fucking idiot. There we go, that's more like it. Alright, time to see if there is any arcane helmet, which is very doubtful, as always. Oh, I am 55? Damn. And then you've got all your other basic stuff. Purifying flames, focus acceleration, singularity. Yep. Later. Right, as I just well actually I've got I just got Till Rego. What you oh, looking? Call me a worthless ugly freak, how dare you? But yeah. I did. Zeraman Steel Path. All done and dusted. I am a hundred and five XP away from legendary rank two. So I'll have Neptune, Pluto, Eris, Sedna, and these two halves, these two parts of the void. So I've got. Plenty. And I've not even fully formed all of my Tenet and Kuba weapons, so I'm going to have XP to spare. And I got the nice little Zaraman decoration there. I noticed something upon completion. Uh, Zaraman Steel Path does not count to mastery XP. Not even because when I finally got around to doing that, I had 1,209 to get to Legendary Rank 2. I did the Zaraman Steel Path, and it was still at Legendary Rank 2. So, no, it's still at 1,209. So, they may have fixed it, but 
it offers nothing in terms of mastery XP. Just a heads up. And Octavia, 200% secondary crit chance, 75% sprint speed. Eh. Neja, 10% primary crit chance, immune to status effects. Holy shit. <laughs> immune to status effects for Neja? 100% ability duration and 25 heal rate for Titan. That is. Oof. That is not too shabby. What else do we have? Oh yeah, steel path incursions, assassination of the Ropolo list, spy on Lua, on Lua, All right, take a uh, limbo. It's the only time I use limbo these days is to do spy mission on Lua. Exterminate Puck Uranus. I just did that. But. Wait, Puck? Where's Puck? Oh, it's there. Oh, I just saw the Arcwing symbol and I was like, ooh. Mobile Defense on Venus and Spy on Cuba Fortress. Right, and on top of that, let's see what the con let's see what the ghost of Teshin has to offer us. Well met, Master. You bring honor and. F Everyone just bear me one second. Uh, send that. Come on. There we go. Right. Here we are. Right, Teshin. What have you got to offer us? Kick on ribbon mod. Or veiled ribbon cipher. Actually, how much is that? 20. You know what? We'll go for it. Because I may feel lazy every so often. I also want one of each. What way to spend steel essence? Anyway, that is all for today. I'm going to go uh, do a bit more steel path try and get to legendary rank 2 and I shall see you all later and maybe Alexish will as well